this 2007 BMW needs some spark plugs. Let me show you how to perform this task. On today's episode of Shop Time, I'll show you the procedure for replacing the spark plugs on this 2007 E90 328i. In this video, I'll also show you the reset procedure for the onboard maintenance computer without using any kind of scan tool, so you can do it at home. Let's get started. First step is going to be involving opening the hood. Only about three quarters of the top of the engine is visible. The rest of it is held behind this rain tray slash air filter tray for the inside air conditioning. We must remove this tray in order to gain access to the top of the engine in order to remove the cover and gain access to the coil packs and thus the spark plugs. There are two sensors that run along this rain tray. We're going to want to dislodge the wiring and give a little slight twist to the sensor in order to pull it out. We can set it aside so it does not get damaged during this process. Occasionally you'll find another one on the other side as well. Then remove these covers. There is a rubber type locking mechanism as well as some clips. Be careful with these clips not to break them. Same procedure for the other side. This one covers the brake fluid reservoir as well as the ABS module. Let's now remove the air filter housing. There are going to be six 8mm bolts, two located in the front and two on each side of the intake duct, driver and passenger side. Remove all of them. Magnetic trays do a great job at hanging onto your bolts. They also keep your fender covers in place while you're working to avoid damage to your paint. Now remove the filter assembly. This is a great time to check your particulate filters for your cabin system. So we can see we've got some places where pieces of leaves and other foreign material have accumulated. We'll replace this filter for the customer. In order to remove this rain tray, we must remove two more screws. They're located on each side. We can find them right behind the weather stripping. This side as well as on the passenger side. Our harnesses that attach to the rain tray must also be removed. They will slide off using slight pressure. There's also going to be an inner one that may need a screwdriver in order to press the clip. Be very delicate during this procedure. Use intuition and see what you need to pry on. There will be a very small mechanism that's located near the top that sometimes needs a small screwdriver in order to release. After both the screws are removed and the wire harnesses are removed, we can now lift the rain tray. We will lift the front of it and try to slide it forward. It then will slide forward and can easily be removed. Set it to the side for now. Except for these wire harnesses, we now have great access to the top of the engine. We can now remove these screws that are holding the engine cover on, which will expose our ignition system. A bungee cord can be used to carefully lift the wire harnesses away if you prefer to keep them out of your work environment. Now that we've gained access to the ignition system, we can see each coil pack. Each coil pack has its own connector. As you lift the tab on each connector, it will try to spit the connector at the bottom. Carefully pull it out and disconnect it. Each coil pack can then be carefully pulled up and released from the engine exposing the spark plug. This is going to be the same process for all six coils. Before removing these spark plugs, we must ensure that the engine is cool. You never want to ever try to remove a steel spark plug from an aluminum head when the engine is at temperature. For this procedure, we're going to use a 5.8 spark plug socket as well as a 3.8 ratchet. Do not ever use any kind of power tools to get any spark plugs out on this aluminum head engine. The spark plugs were removed in say BMW, but then they also on the other side say NGK. 
These spark plugs are also available aftermarket uh, without the BMW logo on it. That's what we're going to use. It'll be the exact same spark plug, just not from BMW. I mean, look at these plugs stamped at the base of them. It's very hard to read, but they have an ILZFR6D11. If we look at our new spark plugs that we purchased in the aftermarket, they're labeled as a laser iridium. Um, they're NGK part number 1208, but they have that same ILZFR6D11 part number. This essentially is going to be the exact same spark plug, it just does not say BMW on it. As we can see, this spark plug utilizes a crush ring seal as opposed to a taper seat. This is important in noting, as we'll see here in a moment, it determines how much we must tighten the plug. Plugs that use a crush washer must be tightened by hand until they seat, and then tightened anywhere between a half and two thirds of a turn past that in order to be properly torqued into a head. Repeat this procedure on the other five plugs. Then replace the coil packs. Reattach the connectors by first sliding them in with it flapped up and then as it locks down it will lock the connector in place. Follow a reverse process to reinstall the pieces we removed. Reinstalling the rain tray can be somewhat of an awkward operation. There's going to be a lip on the rain tray that is going to slide over the rubber weather strip seal on the bottom of this plastic panel with the wipers coming out of it. So we need to kind of tip it in and all while keeping these wire harnesses happy and out of the way. Make sure you reattach these flaps back into the tray in the correct order. This is what allows the water to drain off into the area it's supposed to drain to when it rains. The cabin particular filter snaps in using these little snaps so it can easily be removed. with a fresh filter. Fresh clean filter installed. Reinstall the filter housing. Forget to reattach these pesky wire harnesses. Set these spark plugs. We're going to want to put the key fob into the slot, power up the cluster. Do not put your foot on the brake and push the start button. This will have the cluster activate and you'll hear the chiming come on. To get to this main setting, we're going to want to put our foot on the brake pedal and then push the odometer stock and hold it. While we're holding it, we'll see a yellow triangle come up, and then we get into the reset menu. We can then use the up-down selector switch to go through different items that we can reset, including the air conditioner particulate filter, the brake fluid, the oil, the spark plugs, the overall maintenance check, <clears throat> the front brakes, the rear brakes, in order to reset an item, select it in the menu and then push and hold the BC button on the side of the stock. This will come up with a reset and push it twice. This will reset our numbers. As you can see, the factory reset is for another 100,000 miles on these spark plugs. And enjoy driving your ultimate driving machine. Thanks for watching.